Welcome to Tea Tech Trail Super Trip. Hi right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in to T Tech Trab. Yes, again, that is T Tech Trab in with another how to video. And today we're going to be teaching you how to connect your controller to your BlueStacks emulator PC computer. And of course, if this is your first time watching, don't forget to subscribe for more. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have your computer up and running. It has the latest issue, the latest uh, program, I should say, of BlueStacks. And you also want to have a USB uh, controller attached to your computer. And so, what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and open up BlueStacks. Okay. Okay, so yeah, you will see also it says gamepad detected. So I was having an issue where I, for some reason, they did an update in my computer for BlueStacks and my controller wasn't working. And I could not for the life of me figure out what was going on. So what I did was I went ahead and clicked on the settings. I'm gonna click on settings right here. And then we're gonna go to gamepad. And you see that the gamepad input settings is off. I needed to do that. Mine was set to auto and uh, it did not work. So I had to hit mine to off, at least for Super Bear Adventure, which is what we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you how to do today. So maybe your models may vary. Um, I would just keep toggling with these settings until you find the right one. For me and my Hori gamepad, um, I'll put a link in the description below if you guys are interested. Or um, even iPega was also not working so i had to hit off in order for this to function all right so we, we're starting off from scratch folks um what you want to do is make sure that no matter what you're doing we're for the purposes of this tutorial we're going to be hitting uh gamepad we want to be selecting gamepad at the top um, we're going to go ahead and do this together uh feel free to pause the video whenever you want and we're going to go to tap spot because this is what we want uh baron or super bear adventure baron to do we're going to be grabbing this dragging it to the a uh, portion and as you can see the blinking cursor means that it's awaiting our input so what we're going to do is press the a uh, corresponding button on our gamepad so we'll hit a and then there you go we're going to be dragging another tab spot here and we're going to be hitting b for b and if you guys wanted to check just to make sure that it's working again make sure that gamepad is selected along the top I'm gonna hit save and see if Baron actually is listening. I'm gonna hit X up here. All right, so we're gonna see if it works. And lo and behold, thankfully it works. This is working right now, which is great. But we're not done yet. We still need Baron to be able to look in the 3D space and move around in the 3D space. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go back into game controls. Make sure that the controls are not keyboard and mouse. Make sure that it's selected for gamepad. Hit open advanced editor. Boop. And then we're going to tell this is the part that actually threw me for a loop more than I'd like to admit. Um, we're going to be dragging Baron's movement first. Let's try that out first. Believe it or not, although we do have the left stick, we're going to be using a D pad because that's exactly what we want to do. It's very confusing <laughs> and you want to make sure that you're overlaying it directly over the circle right here to, to just kind of match it up. We want to match it up. So it's make sure it's just right, just like that. Well, as, as close as you can get it, as close as you can humanly possibly get it. Make sure it's nice and circular. We're gonna be going into our settings. And instead of using D-pad, we do left stick. Now, why didn't they label it left stick or have a separate one for left stick? It's beyond me. I'm gonna be hitting left stick for this. And that's it. <laughs> that's it, we're gonna click off of it and then get rid of that. And this should work. We're gonna go over to save, boop. So now we're gonna be checking it out. And lo and behold, there it is. Baron is moving. Along with it, it, it depends, you know, your models may vary. There may be some settings you wanna tweak. We can make him walk. If we tilt it all the way up, he'll run. And we're <laughs> almost done. We are almost done. All we gotta do now is set the right stick to be able to move around. Now, I'm gonna try a little experiment here. This is kind of not with the tutorial. I'm actually gonna go off script a little bit We'll go back into game controls, go into advanced editor, and see if we can do D-pad, because I couldn't help but notice right stick as well. Let's try that. We're gonna place this guy in the center of our screen. Again, we kinda wanna overlay everything to make it so that way the inputs matches up with the touch screen. So what uh, BlueStacks is doing is that it's emulating a touch screen itself with our input. So we're gonna go to settings. Let's try right stick. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Hit save. This might work. This may work. And hit uh, X out. Does this work? Um, there it is. <laughs> as far as I can tell, it's working. Now, 
it's not working the way that I would necessarily want it to work. I mean, it's okay if that's the kind of thing. It's it's not it's not really accurate. But if you were in a hurry, you can go ahead. But here's what we're actually gonna do. Don't click off the video just yet. This is what we're actually gonna do to, uh, you know, circumvent that or fix that, I should say. We're gonna go back to game controls, open advanced editor. I'm gonna X this out. And next we're gonna hit free look. Free look, we're gonna go ahead and drag that in. We're gonna center in the center of our screen. And it's gonna ask us for inputs on all axes. So the up, the up, uh, I guess, I don't know if X, Y, X, X, whatever. We're gonna hit up. We're gonna use our right stick to hit up, so that way it reads right stick up. We're gonna click on our right one, and I'm gonna hit right stick right, and that's gonna do that. It's gonna, this is automatically doing it, folks. I'm gonna hit down for down, and left for left. And then we're gonna go into settings, boop. More settings, boop. And I noticed for me, the swipe speed needs to be up a little bit to, to, for it to feel good. Um, so you might wanna do something like maybe 60, maybe 50 or 60, your mouse may vary. You may wanna try it, tweak it every once in a while just so that way it feels good to you. We're gonna hit X up, I'm gonna X this out, boop, and then go to save, boop. And then we're gonna try and see what Baron, and uh, Baron, this, this, this feels good. This feels good for Super Bear Adventure. This feels great. Wow, look at that. Now we have Baron's full moveset and the plethora, and the plethora of our hands. And, uh, and the palm of our hands, excuse me. Oh my gosh, what was that? All right, there's a little bit of a little bit of a, a weirdness. That's all right, we're fine. Uh, but yeah, it's not exactly accurate. Again, you can probably tweak it to where it feels good to you, but it feels good to me. It feels good to me. We got his full moveset. It's not like for me personally, it doesn't feel one million percent accurate, but this is about a good 90 percent if you guys um, wanted to do that. However, we're not quite done yet. We got one more thing we probably want to do, especially if you're uh, gaming on PC, want to hit game controls, boop, and uh, on screen controls. We're just gonna hide it. It's it. There we go. And and there you have it. Um, and yeah, there you there you go. But wait, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> We're not done yet. This will save you a lot of time uh, in having to do this more. So if you don't want to do this every time you start on Blue Stacks, you want to go to Game Controls, do that, on screen controls or whatever, and then hit Custom. You you want to save your custom. You create a new profile. You want to name it right. We want to name it like Super Bear. Adventure. Enter. This is this is your custom. This is your custom settings right here, and this will always be in there for whenever you need it. That way, hey, I want to play Super Bear Adventure. That's good. You want to play something else? That's good. And uh, yeah, that's it, folks. That's the end of the tutorial. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe for more gameplay videos and maybe even some tutorials. This is kind of how I did it. This took me forever to figure it out. So liking the video would definitely help me and help the channel as well. Thank you all so much for tuning in. You have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and bye. Yup.